Hello everyone, my name is Mujan Sarbush. I'm PhD candidate of genetic at the Department of Life Science, Kazar University, Baku, Azerbaijan. Also the president of Kazar University and Donia School One Health Association. I am so proud to participate on Global One Health Day 2020 conference. Climate change is an essential issue for Azerbaijan due to the exacerbation of droughts, water scarcity, and soil degradation in the Southern Caucasus region. The Southern Caucasus continues to experience insufficient taxes to save drinking water and water shortage, which is particularly problematic in Azerbaijan. Currently, the region experiences non-sustainable use of natural resources, significant land degradation, deforestation, and lack access to safe drinking water in some areas. Food has social, physical, psychological, as well as political significance. Thus, a country's development plans aim to rise the standard of living, which correlates indirectly with a higher nutrition level. The aim of our research were to choose the best genotype resistance to drought stress, to measure different traits like root length, crop till length, which I'm going to talk about them a little bit later, and also to choose the best genotype resistance to drought stress. Bali Holdium vulgar is one of the most important grain crop in the world, and, he, and it is well adaptable to a stress-prone condition. Dross is an abiotic stress which has negative impact on plant growth and development, thereby affecting plant yield. In condition of dross, the water intake is limited and the result is inhibition of germination. In order to choose barley accession tolerance to draws during seed germination, factorial experiments in a randomized complete block design with two replication were run in biotechnology laboratory of Kazar University in 2019. Eight Azerbaijani and barley genotype with different level of PEG, 0, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9 bar were used in this research. Traits such as root length, club till length, plumular length, weight dry matter, percentage of rate of germination were measured. According to ANOA research, different level of dross stress, type of cultivars, and in and interaction between them had significant effect on major characteristic. Three of the most resistant accession have been selected, which shows the highest percentage of germination, plum volume, and plum dry weight in comparison with the other cultivars. So these genotypes were more tolerant to dross stress. The the dross tolerance genotypes specified in the study will be grown in rain-fed regions in order to improve crop productivity and will be used in barley breeding program to produce a stress-tolerant genotype. If you still have some question about Azerbaijan, you can pay attention to the map. You will see the location of Azerbaijan. Also, in second picture, you can see our uh, genotype 1 uh, in germination stage and as you see in a graph you can understand that uh, genotype the accession 5 and accession 8 has the best uh, performance they are more uh, dross tolerance they has more they have more dross tolerance also if you still have some question, you can take a look at these figures. As you can see, uh, here we have uh, barley accessions, which are uh, dross tolerance. And here, as you can see in their face, they are suffering from dross susceptible. And uh, thanks so much for paying attention and listening to my presentation. Uh,
best of luck. Also, I want to thank Kazar University for providing uh, opportunity for me to do this research. All the best. Have a nice day. Thanks so much.